What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft on the internet. I'm going to join... This is a little loud. I'm going to lower that. Let's join this league. Wow, that was fast. And Mox Rubel. Also a Treachery. That's pretty nice. So we have Treachery and Mox Ruby are the, the two considerations in this pack. I think you just got to go with the Mox Ruby, right? So I'm going to do that. And tomorrow, while well, you guys are watching this on YouTube, or it's probably going to be today, but tomorrow I do have, I get LASIK done. So I have a feeling there won't be a stream. <laughs> I don't know how good I'm going to feel after LASIK or uh, how my eyes will feel. Hopefully I won't die. Hopefully my eyes won't get lasered off. Wow. Into Mana Drain? Sure. Seems good. Man, you guys keep calling uh keep calling time twister power and I just laugh. I think mana drain is more powerful than than time twister. Huge people stream tomorrow. Um, I don't think so. Unless with the Leovold. Yeah, Time Twister's pretty busted with Leovold, but that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> we meet again for the moxiest of times. I'm okay. How about yourself, buddy? I don't know what the holdup here is. Yeah, like, you can go twister and then crack an LED with a twister on the stack. That is an option. Uh, so we got Tamiyo, Phyrexian Metamorph, and Polluted Delta as our options here. I like Delta. Keeps us open. Metamorph is also good. I think we're just going to go with the Delta here. I want to keep our options open. And considering we have Mana Drain, I kind of want my mana to be as crisp as possible got that crisp mana <clears throat> this is like the only card that really stands out for me here <clears throat> which is probably not correct because mana confluence is probably better and then nickel bolus comes back one of them four cards are going to come back will nickel bolus planeswalker be one of them i don't know i don't know i mean probably i could also take knight's whisper <clears throat> and be black and be grixis I'm really impressed with Mana Confluence every time I have it. I'm going to take the Mana Confluence. It's just such a good fixing card. Um, I'm at Wandering Fumeral here. I don't, I don't, Impulse. I actually like Impulse. Impulse is pretty good. We'll take an Impulse over a Wandering Fumeral. And maybe the Fumeral, Fumerale comes back. So here's, a, here's an interesting decision point here. We have either Deceiver Exarch or Baleful Strix. Hmm... Baleful Strix is just a better well-rounded card. But Deceiver Exarch gives us like a lot <clears throat> of potential here. I think the upside on Exarch and just being able to get the twin combo is uh, is just kind of too high to pass up. I also like this Duretti a lot. So I'm going to take this Duretti. I think the other option is Dire Fleet Daredevil, but I mean, like I think the Planeswalker is just stronger. Chupacabra and Remand? Hmm. Cheeps is very strong. It kills anything, which is kind of where you want to be here. We're hoping that Nicol Bolas comes back so we can play Nicol Bolas. Hmm. I think it's Chupacabra. I'm not sure it's defensible, but <clears throat> it's also double black. I think Orzhov's saying it's probably better than a Rakdos return here. 
Alright, nothing great in this pack. We'll take the Expansion Explosion, actually. I can see us playing that. Fatal Push? Sure. I think we're just splashing the red at this point. <clears throat> Alright, it's going to be four cards left in a pack. This is it. It's going to be right here. Or right here if someone took every card ahead of it. Come on. There he is. There he is. Nailed it. Nailed it. Kiki was in the first pack? Oh, biscuits. Sure, in case we get a Mind Slaver. And also the Wandering Fumeral did not come back either. That's unfortunate. Now I'm wishing we just took the... Uh... <clears throat> oh, Scarab God. That's a beefy boy. Probably the pick, too. Probably just taking a Scarab God here. This guy's incredibly powerful. Bolus is actually a really big chicken. That's, uh... Cast Down is an option. Karn Liberated is an option. Depends on how much ramp we can get. We already have a Mox and a Signet. I don't know if that's good enough, but... I think it's better than, like... We could get Mind Slaver and Academy Runes. How much mana do you need for that? 12? You need 12 mana? 2 to activate this, and then 6, and then 10 for the loop. So you need 12 mana and the Academy Rune, so 13 lands. <clears throat> I don't think it's any of the white cards, because they're kind of locked into red here. Also, being able to like copy their Time Walk or copy their Ancestral Recall is pretty gas with this. Expansion Explosion seems like a good addition to the cube. I'm pretty sure it comes down to one of these two. I think it is Mind Slaver. I think I like having Mind Slaver with the Academy Runes. Yeah, it was, but it's also right here. So, <clears throat> not really. Uh, I'm not really concerned with getting Academy Ruins because we already have it. Uh, I like Rippling Clouds. Okay, I also like Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, Colagon's Command is actually pretty legit here. I think I like Colagon's Command better than Solemn Simulacrum. Um, reason being, it's just another way to deal with an artifact. Yeah, I think it's just too versatile. You can also get back a Chupacabra. You can do all kinds of things with it. Volcanic Island is gas. I hope this Thief of Sanity comes back, or this Toxic Deluge, or this Dig Through Time. Those are the three I'm hoping come back, but with Polluted Delta, Polluted Delta we're just snapping off of Volcanic Island pretty easily. <clears throat> I like Dreadmore and Pack Rat. Torrential Gear Hulk, not super great yet. We have Impulse Manager and Fatal Push and Colagon's Command. Hmm. I think it's pack rat. I mean, pack rat just wins games like you shouldn't have any <clears throat> any business winning. I don't actually like kite self rebooter because I think it's a very repeat. Like it's a very easily replaceable effect. There's like four different cards that do kite self rebooter. There's brain maggot freebooter, mesmeric fiend, and I, I bet there's probably another one. <clears throat> but I do like having a way to deal with planeswalkers. So I think I'm gonna just take the dreadbore. I don't know if that was correct, but I do like Cryptic Command. We could be heavy blue and then splash the rest. Yeah, I'm actually going to take the Cryptic Command here. I would love to take an Academy, but I don't think we're there yet. There, look, it's another Kitesail Freebooter. Only this one can take any card, not just non-creature cards. Monolith actually... Uh, it's not bad, <clears throat> but I'm definitely going to take... I'm not going to take it over a Cryptic Command for sure. Uh, Tezzeret, the Seeker, doesn't do anything. It might just be Academy just for the sake of it. 
Arena's nice. Yeah, Arena's fine. Ancient Tomb. And we already have Academy Ruins? Good lord. <clears throat> How many colorless lands are we going to get? I mean, we're definitely taking it. Sure. It's an Ancient Tomb. It's very strong. End of, end of story. I'm going to take a repeal. There's nothing else in that pack I really care about. I like Ancient Tomb a lot, but I don't want to have that many colorless lands when we have double black, black red, black red, double blue, triple blue, double black, black black, blue red, double blue or double red. Like, it's... Our mana requirements are pretty high right now. <clears throat> Take this guy. Um, <clears throat> do we have a... <clears throat> God, do we have a reason for Kozilek Butcher of Truth? I don't know. We already have a Chupacabra. I don't care about a Necrotal. I think our Necrotal is just a worse Chupacabra. Is there anything we can do with this? Oh, there is no stiff. I mean, I'm just going to take it. I don't like Thing in the Ice. I just don't like it as a card. That's just me. Oh, Thief of Sanity comes back? Oh my god. So lucky. <clears throat> Never don't have it. Wow, Turn Trip Girl came back? That's pretty cool. Scrubland. Alright, I'll take a Scrubland. And Sphinx. Okay. Well. Oh, Mox Jet? Yes, please. On color Mox Arena. Makes our Telerian Academy better too. If we take did we take the Telerian Academy? I don't think we did. Okay, that's fine. Easy choice. Easy game, easy life. Oh, creeping tarpet, you are one of the better one of the better blue blue black lands. <clears throat> I would love an underground river here. Underground sea. Not an underground river. Don't give me an underground river. I'm gonna take this guy because I think we're we're needing it. Oh, Misty can get uh, only red and blue right now. I cannot get any black lands, unfortunately. Underground River. <clears throat> I don't hate Thran Dynamo ramping into like Mind Slaver or Nicol Bolas. Or even Explosion Expansion. Like, this actually enables a lot of the things that we want to do. I think this is actually an okay pick. actually kind of like it because we have a lot of expensive cards in the deck so if we can go like turn one signet uh into turn two thran dynamo it's actually pretty insane <clears throat> and we're called the promised end hmm. i think we just want preordain here we have six creatures they're all pretty good though we also have a nickel bolus as a win condition thief of sanity gets to steal their win conditions deceiver x arcs pretty much poop if we're not playing uh That deck I drafted, he just got my... Did you just now finish that draft? Because I feel like that was ages ago, Mike. Yeah, I'll just take Preordain. Preordain's a really powerful card. Spire Bluff Canal, eh? Frost Titan, eh? Let's sort by Cumbria Mana Cost so I'm not like sitting here looking at... <clears throat> I actually don't mind Go for the Throat here. Wow, that draft was like a year ago. I think I'm on like 30... I'm on like draft 41 now or something. Hmm. This Doretti makes Duders, but they can't attack. Uh, I'm not a big Thirst fan here. Like, we have a lot of ways to draw cards already. We have Phyrexian Arena, Thief of Sanity, 
impulse preordain cryptic command like I, I don't think we need another card that draws us more cards i'd rather have an action card or a fixing land that does something i also i just like go for the throw because we don't have that much room we have fatal push and chupacabra and drag actually we're all right we'll just take the land <clears throat> nope nope control magic seems good all right i like a control magic <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about my scratchy throat, guys. Yeah, that was a pretty easy pick. I don't think we're going to get more lands, unfortunately. So whatever we have now is what we're stuck with, I think. Um... I don't care about any of these cards. Liliana may be fine. We are. We definitely have the creatures to reanimate with Liliana. I don't care about Blightsteel. We're not a Blightsteel deck. Not gonna play this. Don't care about this. I guess it's. I mean, Liliana is the only thing I'm even leaning towards. Oh wow! All right, this pack's Force of Will seems great here. I'm 100 percent gonna take and play this Force of Will. That's gas. Through the breach and tooth and nail still in the pack. Well, that's something. We do have a Kozilek. What's this Kozilek's uh, Annihilator? Four? They're all four? <clears throat> do we just throw the Breach a Kozilek? That's interesting. We also take Arcane Artisan and just play it with the, uh, the Kozilek. I don't think we're breaching. I don't think we have enough creatures to breach. I'm going to take the Arcane Artisan. Frasca's Contempt. Also a Karn. I like both of these. This is a nice last pick. Or last last pack. Well, it doesn't draw cards. Like, it loots. Like, I mean... You know. And it, it loots for three mana. So it's not really, like... It's not a very cheap effect. Like, you're playing an 0-3 in the Vintage Cube with a loot effect for three mana. So... You know, I mean, it's fine. Don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not like "quote unquote" drawing you cards. You know, yeah, bells and lock is a is a demon. Frost Titan comes back. Brain Maggot, sure. All these cards are just fine. I actually can probably cut Repeal. I don't actually care about Repeal. And I kind of want the Kozilek if we're playing Arcane Artisan. Or even the Sphinx of the Steelwind. I think both of these are cool. Brain Maggot over Karn. That is a little weird. I mean, we could have taken Ostan over Elspeth, but I'm not going to play either, so I don't really know why that matters. Uh... Got him. I can also see Frost Titan. Like, there's actually a, several cards I like here. Torrential Gearhulk seems great now, though, because we have this, we have Force of Will, we have Colgon's Command, Impulse, Mana Drain, and Fatal Push. Those are all very, very good. I mean, we can also get uh, expansion here as well if we want to just copy what they're doing. Uh, double red for explosion when we need it does not seem hard at all. We have a Mox, Volcanic Island, Spiral Canal, Polluted Delta, Mana Confluence. I don't, I don't think that's going to be difficult at all, actually. What's the Simic version look like? It's, it's not good. It's not good. I'm going to probably cut the Manic Vandal and put one of these other cards in that I like. I'm worried that Kozilek's just going to be stuck in our hand, but we do have Thran Dynamo, Double Mox, and Orzhov Signet. Oh, uh, I don't actually even like Ostone as a sideboard option, to be honest with you. So, I mean, like, I'm just like, I'm, like, I'm saying to you, I'm telling you, I'm not going to, I wouldn't play it. Like, it kills too many of our permanents. It kills our Moxes, it kills our, uh, our Planeswalkers, and it kills our creatures. So, like, it kills our enchantments. Like, it kills, we have a lot of permanents that want to be on the board. And, like, if we're going to, 
play things like Moxon in our in our mana base. Uh, I really don't want an O stone in our deck that's going to actually disrupt. Like that's going to be three stone rains for us. I mean, there's just I don't I don't envision any situation where I bring in an O stone. So I think Kozlek is a bit greedy. It might just be Frost Titan. I could just see throwing Frost Titan in. But then I like I really don't like Arcane Artisan then either. I mean, we not only have two mocks, we also have the Mana Drain, which is pretty powerful. That's a powerful wizard as well. Hmm. I do like, yeah, I think Brain Maggot's actually fine. Yeah, I like this. I think this is all right. I do like Vandal a lot. Like, I feel like it always has a target is the thing. Maybe cut the Karn for the for the Manic Vandal. I'm not a huge Karn fan in this in this format. But Karn can actually, like, with root with two Moxes, a Signet, and a Thran Dynamo, like, Karn can actually just pump out big dudes. Hmm. <clears throat> this is something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So we have 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 blue cards total, 11 outside of Force of Will to get rid of for Force Thank of Will. You. Crutch Jr., thanks so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, actually, O Stone doesn't exile, it does destroy things. Yes. You just raise your glasses to me, try to try to get me with an O stone, and then like you were wrong about it. That's unbelievable. This is actually tough. The last card is actually tough. I could probably cut Fatal Push and put bring the Karn back. I actually kind of like that. Drops Glass has never gotten so got. <laughs> oh, man. You come into my house and try to exile my permanence? Unbelievable. All right, let's sort by color. Obviously, blue is the most heavily represented. This is all three. These are both colorless. Blue, black. This is just black. This is red. This is blue, red. This is blue, red. Oh, we're not playing the Scrubland. Get out of here, Scrubland. All right. <clears throat> so blue sources, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Manageable. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Manageable. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's definitely cutting down to six here and going up to more black here. So this is three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, eight, six. Yeah, I don't hate that. <clears throat> I would like less, fewer colorless lands, but I think that's okay. I just don't want to be drawing both of these. Oh God, Ancient Tomb seems bad here. I'm just going to add another island over an Ancient Tomb. The last thing I want to do is not have... We have Mana Drain and Cryptic Command, and I think both of those are pretty important to be casting. So I like Academy Runes because we can get back Mind Slaver, and that's just a strong enough combo on its own. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I mean, this hand's actually not terrible outside of Mana Drain, I think. We don't have blue, but we do have a turn two Karn. If we hit another land and we're on the draw, so it's very possible. I think that's strong enough, right? And they might never know that we need the land. Oh no, an elf of some sort. It's gonna be a human druid, actually. <laughs> it was an elf. It's like I knew. It's gonna be a creeping tar pit, you ready? Oh, it's an island. That's very good. <clears throat> yep, that was pretty good. So now we have black and blue. And if we draw another blue, we just get mana drain. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. This is a Seinfeld theme, so if I get demonetized, you guys know why. Ba -ba -da -ba. Three three on turn two seems good in any format. However, they can go one two three four five. They can go land primeval titan, and then it's awkward for everybody. Don't do it, man. Have some have some heart. Don't be the monster the world thinks you are. Marari's wake, huh? Oh, okay. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, that's actually very good. <laughs> um, so we make two four fours here and then still keep up mana drain? That actually seems gas. We also, keep in mind, we have blue, red, blue, red. So any blue or any red lets us cast the second half of Explosion Expansion. Mana Drain will be good here. Shocking. Shocking. I'm just going to play this. I, I can't ask for a better land. I want to be able to keep up uh, Mana Drain. <clears throat> God, I hope they pay like nine for like a... Not, not, a, not an Eldrazi. There we go. I got it backwards like four times. Do we just make another four? Just make a four, four, two, four, fours? I think so. I don't really need any cards in hand, is the thing. So, I mean, Karn does die if they want to attack with both of these guys, but then we still get to eat one, right? And then we still have two four fours on the board. So, Genesis Wave would be insane, and then we just kill them with Explosion Expansion, like literal Explosion Expansion to the face. That'd be gas. Yeah, that's uh, that's honestly got to go. Unfortunately, we can't be having that. Five mana is a lot, though. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do this for six if we hit a blue or a red land. Oh, I like that they tap the other guy so that they can't kill Karn here. That's nice. Mm, can't cast you. What did they what did they give us? Oh they oh they took away Nickel Bolas. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. <clears throat> so what do we have? We have only one black to work with. Two red though. So we can actually go Duretti and Frost Titan here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That actually seems pretty good. Let's tap down forever. <clears throat> it's not going to really matter because everything like... Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> choose target permanent. I'll choose your... Can I choose this? I want to choose your... There we go. There we go. Tap down your Marari's Wake. Okay, well... 
Fatal Push seems good here. I'm going to bring that one back in. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny you say Mana Drain seems like a fair magic card. I don't know, man. That's like, I feel like that's the opposite of my experience. You know, where it's kind of like not a fair magic card. It's like the, it's like a, what do you call it? Um, It's like an unfair magic card. I don't know. Again, though, that's just my experience with it. You know, like it, it, it could just be me. Maybe it's just me, you know? Is Brobery the best card in the set? Is that like Scroberies? Bro Broberies and Scroberies? Uh, I don't think it's the best card in the set, no. Not e like not even close, I don't think. I think it's probably like the, the number 10th best card. Like, I would definitely take Moxes over Bribery. I would take uh, Lotus over Bribery. I would take Time Walk and Ancestor over Bribery. I would probably take Library of Alexandria over Bribery. I would take Soul Ring over Bribery. But I mean, like, once you start getting to the blue cards that aren't power and aren't mana drain, like Time Walk, Ancestral, and mana drain, I would probably take a Bribery. Well, I'd still take Jace over it. So I think it's like the fifth best blue card in the cube. So I don't know what we sideboard here other than that. I think that's probably good enough, right? We didn't actually see anything for Manic Vandal that game. Tinker is faster than Bribery, but you also have to have two pieces where Bribery, you just need to have one. <clears throat> well, this hand is much slower, but we do get to cast a Phyrexian Arena. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. I think this is marginally... It's not good. We have two mana. If we can hit like a... I'm going to keep this. I don't want to go to five here is the thing. Like if we take this away, let's take the Nicol Bolas away, right? Is this a keepable five card hand? Are we going to get a better five card hand than this? And I don't think so. I'm out of here. Dragosi, have a good afternoon, buddy. Oh, look. Speak of the devil. Let's take out Manic Vandal, because we didn't see any, any Manic Vandal targets. Well, they didn't really do anything there. All right. Oh, big Chupa Lupa. Big Chupacabra. Big Chups. Big Chupy Moopy. Big Chupalama Ding Dong. Oh, Double Mox. Well, now who feels like a dummy? They just played it and didn't do anything? That's fascinating. Oh, good. How nice. I'm just going to pass here. Phil Money, what's going on, buddy? Man, you're keeping the Mitch meme alive. That's hilarious. <clears throat> well. I, it seems like they don't have anything to do with their mana, though, which is kind of comical. Okay, well, a land would be nice. Let's discard. We'll discard Chupacabra. We don't have any black. We don't have any, we don't have any black sources, let alone two. Oh, man. Yep, they're not doing anything. This is very weird. Land. It should be a land. Beautiful. Not the land we want. Hmm. What's my favorite cube archetype? I don't know, like dirtily mid-range decks with with consecrated sphinx and force of wills and cryptic commands. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably where I'd sit. Now, I'm not going to steal the wall, because then they're just going to friggin' drop down something huge and it's going to crush us. Or they're not. I don't know. I don't know. Island. Nailed it. 
<clears throat> we're good at this game. And if we hit one more land, we can actually go uh, Moxer, we keep up Torrential Gear Hulk for double Cryptic Command. Now we just got Cryptic Command for days. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. This is a lot of mana. Oof. It's looking better and better, boys. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. I'm going to kill this wall. Oh, good times. Really? This is what you're going to do? And then you search for... Oh, you have two cards in hand, too. Um, Let's just counter draw. I don't care about bouncing one of your lands. I'd rather just have the card in hand. <clears throat> Scrabble, Grabbles, McMabbles, Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, Thran Dynamo, huh? Wow, we're one land shy of that. Because if we had if we had another mana, we can actually go one, two, three, four, Thran Dynamo, and still have enough mana to keep up Torrential Gear Hulk. As it stands, I'm just keeping up Torrential Gear Hulk because we have a Cryptic Command in the graveyard. And if they don't do anything, if we hit another land, we can go Thran Dynamo. <laughs> See, like this is funny to me because they had it the whole time, which is why we didn't just rush out the Mox Ruby. And they have one card in hand, so we're just gonna go ahead and Torrential Gear Hulk here. What just happened? Spicy Jalapeno. In your opinion, what is the best Ravnica set? Best Ravnica story arc? I'm not sure if I can speak to story arcs, unfortunately. Um, counter draw card. Uh, the best Ravnica set? I'm still going to lean toward original Ravnica so far. Land. Yep, that's good. So now we can go one, two... Three, four, Thran Dynamo. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana now. We're almost in Mind Slaver lock territory. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mind Slaver. One, two, three, four, five. Like, so this is, don't, don't count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They, well, yeah, they don't have a second white to actually activate the Stirring Wildwood. That's a second white. They only have one card in hand, though, so I'm not terribly threatened. Unless they play, like, big Emrakul, but I don't think they have enough mana for that. They can probably steal our turn. Oh, that's actually fine. We're going to control magic this. And then we're going to take their turn, and then we're going to annihilate them for a million. And then they're going to have a lot of things in their hand that we can take advantage of. Oh, we can also nickel bolus, right? That seems good too. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're, oh, we're one shy of activating this and nickel bolusing. So I kind of want to activate this first, to be quite honest. So one, two, three, one, two. I can have this. Uh, I'll steal your turn. One, two. Oh, actually, hold on. We're going to have enough mana to put this on top, aren't we? Steal your turn. Mr. Steal your turn. Yep. And we do have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can actually play it and do the thing next turn. Oh, man. Don't, don't concede. Just let me do some cool stuff. So you don't get the next two turns. We get to annihilate you next turn. And then we get to annihilate you again. It's not the lock yet though, because we don't have we don't have twelve mana total. Does it say another planeswalker? Destroy another planeswalker. Well that's unfortunate. 
<clears throat> um, so what can we do? Destroy a creature, you gain life equal to its toughness. Hmm. Well, there's nothing really we can do here that's great. We could actually add one to... They actually don't have a black except for this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, huh. I want to kind of destroy their own guy because, like, the problem is with Garrick, like, if they just, if they play them by themselves, they can destroy their own Kozilek, and I'd rather than not do that. I don't think you can look at their sideboard. Like, not on magic on, oh my god, you can. Oh my god, it's all combined into one. This is our sideboard and their sideboard combined. That's hilarious. It doesn't matter because this is going to be the end of the game, but wow, that's insane. I didn't know you could do that. Let's see what we can get here. Um, did, 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 did. Oh, they had Channel. They have Channel Double Mox. Their deck's pretty good. They also have Tooth and Nail. Okay, seems good. One, two, three, four, five, take two damage. Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. We could also play Carnage Tyrant and, and had them had them kill their own Carnage Tyrant, which would be pretty cool. I'll block. <clears throat> Seems good. Gonna eat that dude. Um destroy this guy. And now you're actually dead to your own cause like, right? Yeah, anyone who doesn't like Mind Slaver is actually a maniac. Mind Slaver is just an insane magic card. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can... That's a bug. Not supposed to see opponent's sideboard. Opponent should file a claim and try to get a free draft out of this. I actually agree with you. I would I would file a claim for any bug that comes up. Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. I started the stream all feisty? What do you mean? Uh, no, that didn't work. No, uh-uh. The problem is that they irritate my tongue. Like, it's actually... Your tongue just keeps running over them, and they're kind of sharp. So, like, it's kind of frustrating. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i try to fix them after this after this draft so I can actually not have to... I'll keep this hand. It's slow, but... If we draw Mox, it'd be gas, because we can go turn 2 Manic Vandal into turn 3 Dynamo. Man, Llanowar Elf. Literally both matches started with a turn 1 Llanowar Elf. That's pretty interesting. 499 subs again? Oh, we just lost 16 subs. Like it's so it's so frustrating. Super obnoxious. Oh, nice. Metamorphose into ancestral recall. Totally normal. Totally normal plays. Uh, okay, that's actually great. Did you get LASIK? No, I did not. I will be getting it tomorrow. As I mentioned. This is where they go opposition. Edric. Edric opposition. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much for giving me a target for this Manic Vandal. That's just great. Oh, we can also just keep that up. I think we're just keeping that up. That nah, seems gas. Okay, we're going to do that. And then we're going to nickel this next turn after they let us. Oh, oh my god oh I'm feeling bad I 
Uh, I will choose their artifact, not our own. Thank you. Good lord. Where's the justice? Uh, I guess I'll take seven here. I don't know if we're in a blocking mood. Like, whatever they cast, we're countering. Or, or attempting to counter, anyway. So we have eight mana next turn. Thank you! Jeff, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Or Jake, rather, not Jeff. I was thinking of Pernicious too. Thank you. Yep, had a feeling that was coming down. Jason, thank you so much for the gifted sub thank as well. I really appreciate it, buddy. Let's see what you hit here. They have one card in hand. We just have to find a way to, to manage with this. Thank oh, you. that's a good one. That is a good one. Well, Thank you. destroy a permanent seems fine, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So are Thank we able you. to, like, one? We can actually play this, right? We can actually play Dynamo and then have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that seems really strong. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nikki B. Kill this keep you back so we can like if you attack with all of them nikki b dies though which is unfortunate right like seven eight nine ten we can block two so it's literally like exact one two three four five but then they could play um avenger here Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. I don't know what to get here. They're both names. That's true. They're both names. Uh, God, do I go to three here? That seems terrible. I mean, what's, what's the alternative going to five? Yeah, we'll just keep a blocker back. Man, Hexproof is uh, it's a hell of a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They just play Avenger here and then play like a fetch land. Step one of the plan. Step two of the plan. All right. Well, that's cool. It's a crew tribe elder. We need something good here, guys. I don't think that does it. We can steal this guy. Still keep Thank up Torrential Gear Hulk. We have three blockers. One, two. Who cares? Thank you so much for the 13 months in a row, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So now we have to... We can only take two damage. One, two. So we have to block five, six, seven. That's... That's a lot. I don't know if you guys know this. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine mana. So we can make a guy with this and keep Torrential Gear Hulk up. No, we can't because... Well, yeah, we can. We have red, black, colorless. We can make four blockers. Oh my god, Carnage Tyrant, dude. And we also have to block all of Carnage Tyrant, which is another problem. So we could go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can so you can see like you can you can actually trace the game back to the one turn where we should have uh not meant <laughs> That's hilarious. 
I mean, if we could actually kill this, it'd be insane. Like, we would just go to ready to kill this guy. Oh, we paid... Oh, yeah, we we actually... We miscalculated because we actually should be creeping... We, we were trying to activate creeping tarpet, like black, blue, activate. But we needed black, black, and red for the two creatures we played. I don't think it would have mattered anyway. We were kind of leaving it up to them to be like, if you attack with everything, we'll probably be dead. But you have to do that. Um... If I had one regret, it was that we did not pick up the language. <sighs> have you ever attended Eternal Weekend in Pittsburgh? I have not. I have never attended an Eternal Weekend. I don't have many Eternal cards is the problem, so I don't really like find myself making my way to an Eternal. Like, I, lo I love Vintage, uh, and I'm okay. Legacy's fine, but um, I just don't have Vintage cards, so... Oh, yeah, we definitely can't make enough blockers, but, I mean, like, it's still I'm not going to... I don't want to concede because of that. Yeah, I'll definitely keep this hand. And we can get Volcanic here, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to play Tar Pit. And then if we have nothing else to do next turn, we can go Delta Preordain. Sure. Actually, second turn Arena seems very, very good, which means we have to go Swamp here because I don't want to get uh, Double Red. One, two, three... Have a great day. Can't wait to catch you. Uh, Felk Money, have a good afternoon, buddy. Tell Japan I said hi. Seems good. I'll name Mox Ruby. Joke's on you, buddy. Damage is already done. That's what we were going to get. That's really sad. Oh, I like Thief of Sanity. Uh, we can't play it. But it's still good. So we'll play Delta here. Just making sure it was the right wording there. Oh yeah, Old School is great. That being said... <clears throat> I am uh, also I don't I also don't have old school cards so well this is interesting I guess we can only play thief here five six six three oh actually we can oh hold up hold up yeah let's just play manic vandal <laughs> let's play let's play correctly. I mean, we still don't get to cast anything else, but it does let us cast Frost Titan next turn. Did they just... Wow, they didn't kill our thing? That's actually impressive. Well, that's something right there. Hold up. Oh, I actually have force of will, so let's not let's not pass let's not just F six through their turn. I'm tempted to actually play Doretti, sack Orzov, Signet to kill the Elvish Mystic. We still got to keep up Force of Will. One, two, three, four, five. And also we can... Um... Once Force of Will is in the graveyard, we have Torrential Gear Hulk to do the same. 
Because then they can't cast Carnage Tyrant next turn, which is pretty strong. I don't want to sack the Mox Ruby, though, because we do have double red card in our hand. So I think we just go like this. Dreddy Mom Spaghetti. And we get to keep up. We have. We can also keep up expansion, which I don't think is gonna be relevant. But think. Yep. You got it. You can have that. You can have that, dude. Yep. Keep those lands. Keep the lands a flowing. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just like keeping up force of will, but we know they're going to play Carnage Tyrant, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And we can also just, this is always free. You guys know how force of will works. So one of these is not untapping. This guy's not untapping. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I feel like if we just play Mind Slaver, it's probably unbeatable. My dev box rebooted, super annoying. It's like washing, washing a cast iron pan, you lose. Oh, that's interesting. I've, I didn't know what that was. As a non-software engineer type person, I was unfamiliar with the ramifications of said, said reboot. I feel like we're ahead here. Mm, I mean, that's cute and all, but no. I'll get rid of Thief of Sanity. I think it's the weakest card at this at this particular. Oh, there you are. All right, cool. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. I think they realized Carnage Tyrant was not going to do it. I do like Sphinx of Pro Green. Like that card's pretty insane. We do have to. We also have a Scrub Land that we can add, which is pretty nice, and we can also search for it. So we'd have Orzhov Signet Scrubland Polluted Delta to get a white source. I actually don't hate that. We can take out Nicol Bolas for Sphinx, I think. Fatal Push could be good here. I could see Fatal Push being good. Oh, we also have Mana Confluence. Yeah, so we have like four white sources here. That seems pretty okay. <clears throat> also, if we get to Mana Drain with one of the four white sources, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, I can actually see going to just 41 here. I mean, push push seems decent, but it's like most of the time we're just killing a 1-1. One, one. But, I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't even matter if it's a first strike. Like, even if it didn't have first strike, like, Carnage Tyrant still dies because it's pro green. So, Carnage Tyrant would deal seven damage to it. It would be prevented, and then it would deal six damage back, regardless of first strike. So, uh, I think Thief is insane if you can get it down on turn two or three. Are people really still asking about 41 cards? That's comical to me. It's 2019, guys. Get it together. Robochroma. <laughs> That's actually pretty hilarious. I have never heard that, Nick. <laughs> Gosman, I feel like you've been around for a while, right? Uh, this hand seems good. It's a bit slow, but... I'm okay with it. Any Mox or Signet is great of the two we have. Oh, three. We got three. All right. I'm game. I 
They went to six. Ah, oh, just joined today. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but you should still be familiar with me playing 41. I play 41 all the time. Yeah, the difference percentage-wise is, like, insanely insignificant. I could have actually cut Expansion Explosion. I think it's a little too slow. And there, this isn't a deck that really has a ton of uh, expansion targets. Thank you. Sea of Legion, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. This is where they go Ancestral Recall. I'll add a blue and a green. I'll Ancestral Recall myself. It's like I didn't even mulligan. It's like I didn't even mulligan. Oh, that's not an Ancestral Recall. Oh, they just waste it? They just go Mana Morphos into Mana Vault? That is a thing, I guess. All right. Just going to pass it up. God, I hope they play something for, like, six that's not a Carnage Tyrant. Play something for six that is not a Carnage Tyrant. Because then I can go Arena, Urza, something else. Strong cotton bolding. See if it pays off. See? No. See if it pays off. Pays off. See? I don't know. We got nothing here. Uh, sure. Actually, do I care about that? No, I don't care about that. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, Doretti is your is your name. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we actually take the shields down for a Phyrexian Arena here. <clears throat> Just gonna keep passing. They don't have a lot of pressure. That's a yikes from me, dog. Lotus Bloom suspended, sure. Oh, I like that, because now we can actually... We can impulse at the end of the turn, and next turn we can also play Phyrexian Arena and still keep up Mana Drain. Bump. Yeah, real talk. So countering impulse with uh, countering impulse with expansion might be decent. That seems that seems counterable. Let's impulse first. See what we hit. The problem is I don't want them to have that much pressure on the board. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I think we just take fatal push here. We can let them get back whatever they want, and then we can kill this guy. It's not a matter of him what he's getting. It's a matter of him having another two power on board when we're at 15. Also, we're not really doing anything. We're not en enhancing our board in any way, so it's kind of obnoxious. They also don't have any second colors, and we saw them have Ancestral Recall. I believe that was this game. Maybe that was the last game. We can't get him. It's three. I mean, we can got we we're getting this guy. It's it's actually just straight better. Um. Yeah, let's go black, red, blue, and we'll just play Frexian Arena this turn. That seems great. We're telling we're telegraphing this mana drain real strong here. I, my only hope is that they try to go mere battle sphere.
One, two, three, four. Let's Karn. We just make a 1-1 one, one here. I actually kind of like making a 1-1, one, one, but if they have a way to kill it, they can go Vivian Reed, kill it, but then they're actually using their mana, and we have counter spells and things. I'm not too concerned with it. Oh, that resolves now, huh? It's always Carnage Tyrant, isn't it? We knew that was there. All right, I'll deal with it. Edric? Yeah, that's fine. It's whatever. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody block eternal witness tonight. Sure, keep drawing them cards. This is a weird this is a weird use for mana vault. Sure. All those things are fine. I'm just gonna dreadbore this wow, this is this is ridiculous. They maybe they just don't have anything? This is very strange. <laughs> All right, so what do they put over here? A Choops, a big Chalupa. Yeah, this seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, if we ever draw a Sphinx of the Steel one, we can just get it back next turn. Is this the moment? Yep, that'll do. That's good enough. That's good enough for a baited spell. I'll take it. Wow, the, the discipline for that one was insane. And we get to take their last card. We get to Manic Vandal, their, their Lotus Bloom. How much damage do we get to deal with Explosion Expansion? Like, probably a thousand, right? Sure. Um, play this, play this. I guess we're actually going to draw a card with this, right? Because what's the, what, what do we care? Oh, we have to use our mana, I guess. So, God, I really want to draw the card though, because I want to be able to Sphinx of the Steel end here. But I mean, obviously that's not going to happen, whatever. So we have red, red, blue, blue. Let's brain maggot here. Oh, actually, let's use the white source. Yep, gonna take that from you. Yeah, just gonna take that guy from you. And how many cards can we draw here? Choose target player. Oh, let's cancel. <laughs> 
Did you just deal? We're probably just gonna kill one of these guys, right? I mean, it just seems better than dealing your face a million damage, right? We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we could have done it for twelve and then attack for two, and that doesn't kill them, so I don't care about that. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven mana, so we can do it for seven. That seems good. I mean, I think our board position is fine. Like, I don't really. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we do it for seven, right? I mean, I'd rather keep them off mana because they have mana vault. So I'd rather have, like. Yeah, I'd rather just kill one of these guys. Choose target player to draw cards. One, two, three, four. Is there a reason to keep one up? Maybe. There was not. Uh, considering we're at nine, I actually don't even see a reason to attack. We're just going to be discarding cards. So, um, This is fine. We can just discard Mana Confluence and... Probably Academy Ruins at this point. Or Zavsing, that seems fine. I mean, if they want to waste their turn untapping this, they have... Oh, all right, that'll do. <laughs> okay. I mean, next turn we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. <clears throat> 5. So we can actually go Thran Dynamo into Sphinx of the Steelwind. Or we can just keep up, like, Cryptic Command and play both of these. Yeah, all right. Our deck seems sweet. The Shadows, what's going on, buddy? Everybody have fun tonight. Is everybody having fun tonight? Is everybody Wang Chunging tonight? That's really my concern. I don't want you guys to live your life not not Wang Chunging. So if you guys could if you guys could Wang Chung more frequently, I'd appreciate it. Our record so far is Dose O. And tired. Night, folks. Wow, that was quick. Gosling, have a good night, buddy. Ah, oh, the good old Wang Chungus. A classic. Thank you. Axel, wait, well, welcome back, buddy. Long time no see. Thanks so much for the reset. Really appreciate it. Been playing MTG with Chandelar, the 1995 game, and four times four of multiple power is super fun. Yeah, mu yeah, multiple power. All ancestral again. This hand is... This hand is great, despite having really expensive things in it, because, like, we still get four mana on turn two. We don't have double blue, though. Still good. Doesn't matter. All I've done today is Wang Chung. That's good, though. There's productivity in Wang Chunging, my friend. Let's just top deck a Karn, and then we can probably just... Or a Thran Dynamo. Or an opponent who plays things. I like people one as our opponent. I assume they're just going to the stream right now. Have we done it yet? Yeah, we did it in game one. We're in round one. I wang chunged when I once when I was younger. Never been the same since. Yeah, it's life changing, man. 
let me tell you, it is a life-changing thing. All right, we got an island. Island has been called. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. What's it gonna be? This is really like, oh, Swamp is a good one. I accept your offering, Swamp Arena. Unfortunately, we still can't do much. We can't do much. Best cute yet? I don't even know what that means. It's actually pretty good. I accept that. So what's the point of the, the rankings in Arena? Like Silver, Gold, Mythic? Like what's the point of it though? Like what do you get out of it? Is there like... I know there's like packs and stuff, but it's not like super... It's not like super rewarding, right? Like there's only like... It's like, ooh, you get two packs if you do this. And it's just like, all right, well, that's not a ton. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, we can almost, we can almost mind slaver here. I mean, it gets countered for sure, right? We don't know what they have, so. But I know I chunk is. Oh, we get that Twitter cred? Nice. Oh, that was a good one. Did you get Tropical Island? Tropical Island is a nice... That's a nice, juicy boy. What are the odds they have Mystic Snake, guys? What do you think? That's a good draw. One. A two. A three. And four. Let's go Karn. And if they try to counter it, we can... Oh, they didn't. All right. So we just got a four, four here. I'm okay with 4-4. Four, four. And then we have uh, Expansion Explosion. Mindslaver Locker will forever haunt this chat. Buddy, you already, you already haunt this chat. Alright, well now we have things on board that they have to deal with. How many licks does it take to get the Tizzy Roll Center with Tootsie, Mil tits, tits, tootsie Mike Bits? I have no idea. All right, they just keep playing lands here. I don't know what to make of it. We do have to hit one more land for our guy. I guess we're just going to keep making things, right? Like, they don't have any creature lands. All right, well. A one, a two, a three. Okay, I got gotcha. you. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really want to take down my explosion expansion shields because expansion's basically a counter spell if they want to go to counter one of our things. If they were holding mana drain, they probably would have countered the Karn, right? Because now we have 10 power on board. And they can actually languish here, which is pretty sweet, so that's not an option. They have six cards. What the hell are these cards in your hand? My dude, what are your cards? Oh, well, that's a good one, I guess. But now they don't have double blue up, which is great. So I don't think they have... Huh. I feel like their counter spells are pretty limited here. I guess they get a force of will? I mean, they basically traded a damnation for nothing. Because we ex extended no cards. And we're going to also get a card next turn off of this Karn. I don't know what's going on here. I 
Okay, so they're doing they're doing things. Sure, this is great. So if we could hit one land of any kind in the next two cards, in the next three cards, did it. Duretti or Preordain? Preordain's probably better. <laughs> Preordain is much better. I mean, better for them to give us, not better as a card in this specific situation. Uh, so we'll go one, two. Mm, blue, one, that, 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 that. And destroy this. I don't know, I feel like you go on ham next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven mana, though. Maybe we should have killed the land because they don't actually have any creatures, let alone haste creatures, but. But the thing is, like, if they play a creature and then equip it, we can't kill the creature with Nicol Bolas, whereas next turn now we can gain control of it. So. I guess we could kill the sword and then control magic. There's a lot of options. We could have cut them off a of red mana, but then they just play Scalding Tarn, so that wouldn't have been super effective. They didn't do anything. They could have Zealous Conscripts steal this and then ultimate it. That's kind of scary. So I kind of like the idea of just like getting... Uh, let's do this first. They're gonna give us an island. An unexciting island. Do you want me to have the Phyrexian Arena? This is all very interesting. Wow. Well then. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are one mana away from Mind Slavering. Let's preordain. Uh, Coligon's Command seems dece. I don't think I want either of these. Actually, we can kill this and then destroy a land. Doesn't really do much, though. I'm going to bottom both of these and see what we hit. Maybe it's something good. We really just want to land, to be quite honest. Um, but not a land, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if they took this with the Zealous Conscripts... I don't want to actually activate this here, because if they do have Zealous Conscripts, they just steal our Nicol Bolas and, and ultimate it. Which is pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we want to be in a situation where we just cast this and then win the game with it. I kind of just want to have explosion expansion at the end of their turn. I think we're going to pass here. Like Zealous Conscripts. And they're playing blue and red. So it's very likely that they have Zealous Conscripts. I imagine they're going to get a red source here. Just have double red. And they did. And we could deal four with explosion, which is nice. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm pretty sure we're just drawing, dealing four, drawing four here. Four, five, six. Scarab God's a good dude. Okay. I mean, there's no creatures in the graveyard, so this is actually okay. Can I just gain control of the Scarab God? God, having Force of Will is just unbelievable right now. 
So gain control of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, act. I guess we're just mind slavering here. And then you're dead. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, that was an interesting game. Upheaval is definitely in the cube, yes. All right, well. I still like Sphinx of the Steel one, comically enough. What did we see? We saw Scarab God and like a bunch of one signet and a damnation. Which isn't even that good against us. Like Sphinx is nice because if their answers are like red or I guess like Scarab God's pretty scary, but what, what do we even have to deal with? We could technically kill the Scarab God and then exile it with uh puppeteer click which is kind of cool but outside of that like who knows I think we probably just submit like this sort of feast and famine we saw we already have manic vandal and Coligon and Doretti in the deck so I think we're okay on artifacts I mean it also didn't see many creatures which is interesting Thank you. Uh, I'm definitely keeping this hand. Old Man Silver, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, having Force of Will in your opening hand along with uh, Mana Drain is pretty nuts. We do need another blue source, but if I have to go get one with Impulse, I'm just fine with it. Volcanic Island here would be insane because it lets the Chasmanic Vandal and Mana Drain. And then we got Nicol Bolas as well, so... Okay. I mean, if we have to exile Nicol Bolas to uh, Impulse, or to Force of Will, yeah, it's fine. I don't think we will. It's only turn three. They don't have any sort of ramp or anything, so. Um, I like a Mox Jet, but I need a blue source, so I'm just going to take the island, and it's kind of awkward, but it's fine. Oh, there's the Volcanic Island! Oh. oh, boy. So if we can Mana Drain something for four here, we just get to play Nicol Bolas the next turn. That's a yikes for me, dog. Yep, that's a ma that's a Matic Vandal target. Oh my god. Oh boy. And 3 0. <laughs> well, that'll do, children. That will do. So we can't do both, but we can play Nicobolus and destroy. Probably your green, your red source, your red source. Let's get rid of your red source. I will waste the the extra mana. And that does it. Apparently, one mana drain into a turn five Nicobolus. It's enough to get you the trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Thank you. You'll get 15% off. I don't know why I split that thank you into there. I was just rolling it all together. 15% off, free shipping, free returns. You can also check me out on Twitch and on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Patreon for a buck a month. You just get to support the channel. If you don't have the money to subscribe and you just want to still support me, 
definitely helps out. Uh, same thing on Twitch. Twitch is, uh, you can head on over to Twitch and sub. If you have Twitch Prime, you get a free sub every month. So all you have to do is connect your Amazon and your Twitch accounts, and you get a free sub every month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.